hand. Who have we got this time then? Starting over here. Oh my god, there's a giant floating dragon head. Does that mean the host is down that side? Thomas2, 1994. Oh, hang on a sec. I've been seeded already. Jesus, that was very quick. I've only just arrived. That's a madness. All right, so let's rush this and grave stones. Oh no, God, they're onto me. Panic roll, panic roll. I didn't hear them. I didn't hear them pop up. The archers, the archers have arrived. Let's hide in between the uh, the gravestones to get a bit of protection from them. Uh, check my surroundings. See if I can find out where they are. No, no, no. That was. I was about to venture out. Oh God, I got clipped by something. Panic roll, panic roll. I thought this was a safe spot. Panic roll out. Obviously, I've got it. Got it slightly wrong. My positioning. Uh, let's get, the host is probably up. Oh, and another invader. So a seed is activated. Oh, hello. Is this what they're doing? That's very clever. So there's a seed activated, um, obviously. And I think they must have a finger going because that's the second invader to arrive. And now they're using the archers to their... Oh, my God, there's three of them. Oh, wow. Okay. I think there might be some shenanigans going on here. So let's get immediately away from that because that is not what I want to be experiencing at all. That is not a fun zone up there. Let's get back here to the first set of gravestones where I should be safe, hopefully. What's this... Um. Yeah, the other invaders copped it, unfortunately. <laughs> I was, he, he got a very bad spawn point over by the Adjudicator Giant. Um, and he must have just got destroyed. Oh, they try to free aim some bombs at me now. Very nice, lads. Very nice. So that's very sneaky off them. Oh, what's this? What's this? A blue? Oh, that's very fortunate. So a blue had invaded. They're wearing... Oh, cheeky bastards. They're wearing way of the blue as well. But because that other red had died, he's obviously been sent home. Let's put on the old Sun Princess because they are... They are raining down bombs on me now. They're making it rain from the three throw line. These three pointers. So let's let's hide under the bridge here. Um, this is a bit of a safer spot, I think. Uh, hopefully they won't be able to shoot me from here and it'll be a way still safe from the arrows, from the archers. Um, oh god, no. <laughs> Spoke too soon. It's quite clearly not. Let's, uh, let's, let's back up a little bit. But I think from here, I think the archers might be able to shoot me. Well, this is a very precarious situation. I'm stuck between like a rock and a hard place here. We've got the three guys ganking up top. Yep, yeah, we've got the, the rain <laughs> the rain of arrows coming towards me. And look, here is another invader. So yes, this is very sneaky. So um, this place, I, I like to invade here when um, ganks have got the better of me, basically. Because this is a very good stress reliever, I find, most of the time. Because it is a bit of a... It's not a free victory, but it is certainly an easy... Oh, hello, Mr. Red. Come here to safety. Come here, mate. This is actually an okay zone. What are you doing, you helmet? Bloody patches. It's bloody become a hollow. What are you doing, mate? Why are you attacking me? I've got nothing to do with it. I've clearly not used the seed on you. What are you playing? Mate, were well, you going to lose? Because you're using the place. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I managed to get in for one. Oh, and the white's come down. A white got a little bit overexcited. I think he wanted. He saw the, the availability of a plunge attack and came after me. And I would say, just from the damage of those arrows, I got hit by, I think, one volley. And that took off a good 60%. So this is not this is not n normal new game. This is at least new game plus, maybe plus plus. Because that did a lot of damage. That poor other red. I know he was being a bit of a dick. But he got absolutely eviscerated by them. That was crazy. I hit him for 1R1. Which stunlocked him into just a complete barrage of arrows. Uh, so they're going back to the... Um, they're, 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 they're free aiming. It's not quite on point. Why are they going for me? Look, there's a white. There's a white clearly behind you, Mr. Archers. Why are you focusing on me? Let's have a sit down. Let's like um, reduce the size of my hitbox, hopefully, so that I'm a bit of a smaller target to hit. But again, <laughs> I'm not in the best of positions here. I've got the two guys up there just launching bombs at me. Oh, that was a close one. I've got the archers uh, sporadically popping up and shooting me. And I've got the other white, who's completely sitting there scot-free, even though the archers have a, have a complete clear view of him, which is just outrageous. That's very poor from the Ruined Sentinels, I think. Um... But okay, so I don't, I don't really know. Oh, he's going to try and face me. Yeah, come on. Oh, don't try and bomb me from there, my friend. That's just silly. That's going to free damage from me. But this is going to be very hard. <laughs> Look at the damage. That was, again, just one volley. 60% just gone instantly. Um, so, yeah, this is a bit of a danger spot. I'll go back to under the bridge because I think this was a bit safer again. Oh, look, here again. Again, an invader. Hopefully this one won't attack me. I sort of also hope that this one will die quite quickly just so I can my head just recharge. I know that's a very selfish way to look at it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm in a bad spot here, people. I've got to take what I can get, really. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, I like to invite here when, um, when the ganks have got the better of me. This is quite a fun place to, to invade because it really does even the playing field here and also the poison swamp area with the, with the fucking angels of doom, which have now been nerfed, uh, I think, very stupidly, but uh, they have now been nerfed. 
Um, but that area is still very dangerous for people to go through. Oh, crap. Perseverance. Very nicely played by you, my friend. I won't panic roll out of that. Oh, my God. As he went for his uh, next two. But oh, look at the damage. <laughs> That's outrageous. That's our, okay, so quickly heal up. I'll get two Estus recharges from them. Oh, that was brilliant. They got too overexcited with trying to get me for damage. And they got absolutely destroyed. So, okay, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, it's a bit of death lag. Okay, a little bit of death lag. But now I've got the host one-on-one. -on -one. What's he using here? So he's obviously using lap set, using the Lothric spear. Unfortunately, my friend, I'm going to be able to tank straight through that. Although it's long, long spear, isn't it? Okay, got me nicely there. He's going he's, he's gonna to be able to outrange me. This Gale Sword does have nice range. I mean, I'm not sure 100%, but I think it might have the longest range out of all Great Swords. Actually, Onyx is pretty good, um, but certainly he'll be outranging me with his pokey device there. Um, but I can hopefully, if I can just stagger my R1s, there we go. Avoid these, because he's always going to go for three or four. Let him spend his energy. God, he loves to have a heal up, doesn't he? I don't even think he had taken any damage on that heal. But okay, and I just need to try and stagger my R1s a little bit to try and catch these rolls. Uh, and I don't have to. I, I have to try and keep in mind that I don't have to go as close as I as I normally feel I'd have to on uh, on great swords because this one does have that slightly longer range, obviously. So he's running down. This is dangerous, dangerous game. He's run down. He's obviously baiting out the arches. Oh no! Very clever. He's done me like a kipper there because now he's going to run back up and he's going to summon. So I'm now absolutely snookered here. I have to wait for the three. There we go. The set of three to go. And there he has. He's got his friend back in, obviously. So that was very well played by him. I thought he's actually screwed himself over, but he's actually done a classic Rochambeau on me there. But where is this other red, though? Because I've not got any uh, death message from that. That's it. Trade with me. He's moved to a straight sword, obviously hoping to get a bit uh, a faster weapon will be uh, able to take me on better. But I'm afraid it will not, my friend. The poise on this build has been absolutely improved even more since I've gone up to 125. And, uh, and obviously since the uh, recent buffs to poise and to heavy armour. But look at, the, look at the panic rolls as he's desperately trying to buy time before his friend gets back in. Oh my god, like crazy. Oh, but there's a bit more lag. This must be his friend coming back in. Oh shit, I saw another white there. Has he got two? Panic roll! Panic roll! He's got two whites in! Oh my god, run away, yes. I know I'm poop. Is that, that's like, is that like the equivalent of a tea bag, that symbol? I'm sure it's some sort of derogatory uh, emote as well, but I don't know quite what it means. But Oh no, hang on, he was a white. Oh, that was the red! That was the red! He was wearing a ring! Charge back in! Charge, run back in! Don't run away, run back in now. It's even. It's even ground, okay. So hopefully that red can take on the white, and I'll try and take on the host. Or Panic McRoley face, as I like to say. Oh, nearly rolled off the edge. That would have been disastrous. I think that would have been a death, because uh, there isn't much of a wall there, so I think that would have rolled straight off the edge of the cliff. Mr. Red, what are you doing? Please take a weapon out. These are horrible gankers and seniors. Stop doing it! Stop emoting! Fight, you moron! Come on, this is, this is an epic battle now. Okay, oh, going for the weapon art. Lovely, let's just avoid that, though, because he'll obviously be able to hyper-armor hyper through my uh, R1s. Oh god, that did crazy good damage. He he obviously doesn't have very much fight. Oh no, there he was! That's exactly what I was talking about! There isn't much of a fence there on the bottom part, and he just rolls straight off. And oh, the poor host! He's down to himself now. And yes, and we've got... Oh god, is that a... Um, is that a cosplayer? What was that guy for the last one called? I can't remember. But let's chase him down, chase him down. Oh, if he's, if he's on a running, though, I need to change weapons. I do fortunately have a lovely backup weapon for chasing people down. There it is. It's the new Halberd, whatever it's called. The something, something great sword. Um, but GG is the Is it what's, um, Maldron? Is that, was that a Maldron cosplay? I think that might be. Look, the, the great shield, the great lance. That, like, that's fantastic. It's, he even had, oh, that's genius. He even had the white armor on. That's so clever! That guy is my new favourite guy ever, but not only for saving me, but for doing a Maldron cosplay. Brilliant, brilliant. But um, Mr. Host, you had a great game plan. That's real, that's Death Alley, that is. But um, you had a, a nice game plan to flip, flip the switch, but uh, it didn't quite work out for you, did it, my friend?